how are you viewers welcome to another exciting video uh, and today's video is actually the first in a series of three or more videos that will just be dedicated to us looking at current electricity and questions on current electricity now why is it exciting it's exciting because current electricity is uh, a topic that actually doesn't miss in almost each and every exam uh, that I have seen. Uh -huh. And to kickstart this series of videos, we will be looking at uh, a question that came in the Examinations Council of Zambia uh, Science Paper 1 uh, from the GCE exam. And this is question B7. And question B7 reads, figure B7.1 shows a circuit diagram connected to a 12 volt supply. Figure B7.1 shows a circuit diagram connected to a 12 volt supply. And here is our circuit. Now, it is important to critically analyze the circuit, see what the circuit is all about, check the switches, check the ammeter, check the voltmeter, and the supply also. Sometimes they may give you a DC supply, like in this particular case. Sometimes they may give you an AC supply. Uh -huh. Now, let's get into the question. Uh, let's get into the question. Uh -huh. The question is saying, calculate the A, combined resistance of the 2 and 3 ohm resistor. Combine resistance of the 2 and 3 ohm resistor. Let's get back to the question. Let's get back to the diagram. Now, let's look at the diagram. We've got three resistors. We've got a 2 ohm resistor. We've got a 3 ohm resistor. And we've got a 6 ohm resistor. But connected to a 6 ohm resistor is a switch. And the switch is open. That switch is open. It means that there is no current flowing through the 6 ohm resistor. Hence, it is almost like it's not connected to the circuit at this particular point in time. Therefore, uh, the way the two resistors, which is the 2 ohm resistor and the 3 ohm resistor, are connected, they are at this time connected in series. Now, what do we know about series connections? Uh -huh. So, they're asking us to calculate the combined resistance of the 2 ohm. So, the 6 ohm is already treated as if it is not part of the circuit. Hence, leaving us with these two, which we are now saying they are connected in series. Now, for any series circuit, for any resistors connected in series, the total resistance is the sum of their individual resistance. So, we have... Uh, total resistance is equal to R1, which is the resistance of the first resistor, plus the resistance of the second resistor. Now, what is our first resistor? We'll take 2 ohms as the first resistance and 3 ohms as the second resistance. So, it is going to be three plus, uh, 2 plus 3. Now, what is 2 plus 3? This is 5. So, the total resistance there is 5 ohms. So, we write it there. Now, Always take note, sometimes uh, where you're supposed to write the answer, units may be included. Sometimes they may not be included. So check so that you do not leave out the units because units are uh, cost marks. All right. So that is the first part of the question. The second part of the question, the second part, they are saying the total resistance in the circuit when the switch is closed the total resistance in the circuit when the switch is closed now let's get back to our diagram uh -huh. when we get back to our diagram now they're saying the switch is closed it means that the 6 ohm resistor is now part of the circuit okay but now what does this imply it implies that these two resistors are now parallel to each other okay so for us to find the total resistance of the whole circuit, we need first to find the resistance of the 3 and the 6 ohm resistor so that we can reduce the diagram. And we will give this as R. 
okay so r will be the resistance for this 3 ohm and the 6 ohm resistor okay so let's go down there let's go down there and let's try to kick start our our, our solving so because the two resistors are in parallel and they are only two so the formula for parallel resistors two parallel resistors uh, is total resistance is equal to resistance of the first resistor multiplied by the resistance of the second resistor divided by the sum of the two resistors which is r1 plus r2 okay so now we've got three and six so we're going to say on the numerator we are going to say three times six three times six then divided by three plus six now what is three times six three times six is eighteen 18 and what is 3 plus 6 3 plus 6 is 9 now what is 9 divided 18 divided by 9 18 divided by 9 is 2 so the total resistance for that section of our circuit is 2 ohms okay it's 2 ohms now 2 ohms okay so we can now redraw our diagram we can now redraw our diagram like that. So the diagram reduces to that. Now when it reduces to that, the first resistor will be the 2 ohm resistor already given in the question. Okay? The 2 ohm resistor which is already given in the question. And the second is the 2 ohm resistor we've just calculated. So the circuit now has been simplified to that. Okay? The circuit has now been simplified to that. Now, they want the total resistance. Now, we can now see that they are all in series. And what did we say about resistors in series? The total resistance is the sum of their individual resi resistance. So, the total resistance is equal to R1 plus R2, just like in the first. However, in this particular case, R1 is 2 ohms and R, R2 is 2 ohms. So we have 2 plus 2. What is 2 plus 2? Two? 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So 4 ohms. So that is how we are going to write uh, the 4 ohms in the space we have been provided. And that is uh, the end of the second part of, uh, of the question. We now go to the third part of the question they are now saying potential difference across the two ohm resistor now i like the way the examiner was was actually uh uh coming out with questions uh if we let's 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 look at the first question the first question the examiner does not talk about the switch okay it means the switch is open the second part of the question, he talks about the switch. The third part of the question, he moves away from the switch. And the last part, he comes back to the switch. So the way we treat this, he's, he just wants to make you feel as if you can go immediately after he mentions that when the switch is closed, you can continue going with that notion. Yet... He has changed. He has reverted back to the first assumption. So what is the first assumption? The question has an open switch. Okay. So he wants the potential difference across a 2 ohm resistor. So if the switch is open, the potential difference is different. When the switch is closed, the potential difference is different. So how do we solve uh, the third part of the question? First, we need to find the total current flowing through the circuit when the switch is open. So how do we do that? So we know that current uh, is equal to voltage over resistance. So current is equal to voltage over resistance. Now, what is our total uh, voltage there? The total voltage there is the 12 that we've been given in the diagram. And the total resistance will be the five we found at first. 
when the switch was still open okay so with that being said and done we are now going to to say that uh, uh, total current is equal to the total voltage which is 12 divided by uh, 5 what is 12 divided by 5 12 divided by 5 is 2.4 so the current flowing through the 2 ohm resistor is 2.4 amps also the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor is 2.4 because current flowing through resistors in series is the same however the potential difference is not the same for resistors in series so now we can use this current to calculate the potential difference across the two ohm resistor and we are now going to say uh, voltage which is potential difference is equal to current times resistance what is our current 2.4 what is our resistance it's a 2 so we're going to have our voltage is equal to 2.4 plus or times uh, 2 what is 2.4 times 2 it's 4.8 so we have 4.8 volts now we can now go and write uh, in the uh, answer section 4.8 and that is the potential difference across the two ohm resistor when the switch is open we can now go to section D They're now saying the total the total current flowing through the circuit when the switch is closed look at that the examiner has gone back to mentioning a closed switch so because the switch is closed uh, the total uh, resistance changes hence the total current changes so uh, we need now to calculate the total resistance of the circuit we already have the total resistance of the circuit we already have the total voltage of the circuit so what we're going to say again we're going to say current is equal to voltage over over resistance okay let's get back there okay so uh, the resistance is there for the 3 and the 6 and also for 2 and we found that to be uh, for the total resistance when the switch is closed is uh, 4, ohm, 4 ohms uh -huh. now we get to the actual question now uh -huh. so current is equal to voltage over resistance current is equal to voltage or resistance what is the voltage the voltage is 12 and the resistance is 4 so what is 12 divided by 4 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3 so the total current is 3 amperes so we write that we write that uh, in the answer section there all right uh -huh. now i just forgot to mention one thing there is an alternative to uh there is an alternative to part c and the alternative i've written there is that you can use to find the vote the potential difference across the two ohm resistor for any uh two or three resistors you can find the potential difference as long as they are in series by saying the voltage across that resistor is equal to the value of its resistance divided by, divided by uh, the total resistance multiplied by the total voltage, which is, uh, in our particular case, it's V is equal to 2 divided by 5 multiplied by 12, which actually gives us again 4.8. Okay. Uh, Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you are notified whenever a new video is posted. Thank you very much.